How's it going you guys? So in this video I want to talk a little bit about productivity and uh, actually going through with your goals and especially developing good habits that are conducive for maximum uh, success in the long term. So um, the very first thing you've got to understand is that uh, getting things done is a lot less about quality in the beginning. It's more about consistency and quantity. If you focus too much on quality, okay, you will be obsessing over minutia that never actually turns out to create anything whatsoever. So it's very rare that somebody can just start a project or start an activity and be very good at it, okay? Um, pretty much any skill that you are willing to partake in, whether that's exercising and working out or doing a martial art or um, recording videos, talking to a camera, reading a book, reading books even, for people who, who don't really read very often, uh, it can be hard to retain information that you read in books and stay uh, focused. Um, that's because reading books uh, is a habit and it's a skill that requires practice over time. You know, as simple as you may think reading is, every single habit that you're going to be partaking in, um, it's a matter of developing that skill and you're going to suck at it at first, okay? So quality needs to be let go of. You need to let go of, you know, recording the most perfect videos if you're trying to start a YouTube channel. You know, um, I had a friend who uh, recorded a lot of, of content but never posted it on his YouTube channel because he was so focused on editing the videos and making it his videos look as perfect as possible. He spent uh, like $5,000 on a drone and $2,000 on a professional camera. And that was back in like 2017 and he hasn't posted any videos since. Um, <laughs> so he was too focused on the quality and I kept telling him, hey man, just start posting videos. You need to make it a habit to post content. Your problem is not quality, it's, it's, it's consistency and getting things done. Now, of course, that was the type of person who would always talk about what he's gonna do and never actually do anything. But, uh, and so, <laughs> you definitely don't wanna be that person. The antidote is just to do things and not care about how crappy they might be. Even when you're posting uh, content on a public platform. The same thing goes for uh, going to the gym or learning a martial art. So um, I think it's most universally relatable to talk about going to the gym. That's something everyone could probably relate to. Uh, so if your goal is to lose weight or whatever, or get into better shape or whatever it is, you need to develop the habits that will take you there eventually. So just getting to the gym is really the most important part to staying consistent with your workout routines. So. Um, the goal should not be to lose weight or to lose X amount of pounds or whatever. The goal should be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to get to the gym no matter what. And once you get there, you know, uh, it, I, as long as I'm, as long as I get to the gym on those days, my mission is accomplished. And the thing is, the only reason why most people can't stay consistent with these things is because they have trouble getting to the gym and they have all this self-talk and justifications that start to play through their mind before they go. Like, oh, I'm feeling tired. Maybe I'm overtraining. Maybe I should stay home. Uh, like, oh, you know, I could pass off today. I'll go, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. And so the whole problem people have is just getting started, just getting to the gym, just posting videos, um, you know, uh, so, or just, you know, just starting to write the essay or whatever. So in regards to weight loss, obviously, or whatever, just develop the habit of going to the gym on set days, have a schedule, have a plan. Okay. Um, so this can, this goes for really any skill that you're having trouble staying consistent with. This could be, for example, with homework, with homework, um, literally just plan the days and hours you're going to be studying or whatever, like Monday at 8 a.m., uh, I am going to start uh, my homework, no matter what. I'm just gonna answer 10 questions every, you know, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. And as long as I do that, uh, that's fine. And I mean, you know, the main thing here is if you have a schedule, then you're leaving, then you're, you're letting your process do the motivating for you. You don't need motivation when you have a scheduled appointment to do something, and especially if you set the standards low, when you 
finish those first 10 questions that you planned out, you're more likely to do another 10 more. Now, compare that to somebody, and the same thing could be like videos. Like every, you know, every single day, I'm gonna wake up at 8 a.m., I'm gonna record myself talking about some random thing, and I'm gonna post it on YouTube, regardless of how, of how nonsense it might be. Now, if you do that, and you set the standards low, and you just stop being a baby, because a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do that, wah, wah. Like, I don't want people to see my crappy video. Like, okay, like, good luck doing anything, accomplishing anything, if you have that limiting belief set up for you. Because most people, most people, they have trouble just having that habit. Like, so, compare the person who's doing shitty work every single day to somebody who has trouble doing any work at all, like, twice a week. Okay, um, chances are that twice a week is going to be hard to maintain for them as it is. Um, for one, because it's not consistent enough, twice a week. That's too much space in between. And uh, for two, it's just, it's not giving enough practice. Like the thing is, every single skill needs practice, okay? So here's the thing, if you just record, you know, a shitty video every single day, after a couple weeks, you're going to get really, really good at uh, talking to a camera and posting it on YouTube. You know, and that's what people don't understand. Um, if you just go through the reps of recording videos, if you just go through the reps of reading a book, okay, um, you know, developing your skills of reading, if you just get to the gym every single day, like number one, like the reason why you're not motivated to do something is because you don't do it. Because the habit itself and the routine is foreign to your neural pathways in your brain. So at first it's gonna feel hard and unnatural and difficult and challenging, but that's how everything feels until you make it a routine. Literally the only thing that feels natural and good to you are the things that you have a routine set around already. Um, and so the more you do something, the easier it'll be, first of all. The second thing is the more you do something, the better you'll get at it. So your videos will be shitty, you know, at first, but eventually the quality will be better. The same thing goes with studying. At first, like you, you know, your attention and focus on those 10 or 20 questions on your homework, it might be crap, but uh, the more consistently you do homework, like if you just say, all right, um, you know, every four hours, I'm going to just do 10 questions on my homework, you know, or I'm going to read tw uh, two cha one chapter out of my textbook or whatever. If you just start small, but you, you stay consistent, you have, you, you say, oh, I'm going to do shitty work um, every day. Like for, for 10 minutes every day, I'm just going to do shitty homework. <laughs> Over time, number one, your motivation will increase. And so number two, uh, your focus and your concentration the quality of work will increase so quality of work so here's the thing is you can't just say I'm gonna get the most hardcore workout in uh, tomorrow if you don't ever really work out um, quality does not come from forcing yourself to do quality quality doesn't come from telling yourself I'm gonna do my fucking best and uh, you know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna have all these skills that I haven't developed yet it doesn't happen that way <laughs> So quality doesn't come from trying your best. Um, trying your best just has to do with you going to the environment in which that skill needs to be developed and doing that consistently. Just showing up to whatever skill it is you want to develop. That is how uh, skills developed and that is what trying your best is, just showing up. And it's unfortunate because so many people, whether it's from your parents or teachers, they always push this whole idea of try your best, do your best, you're not doing your best. like. That has no meaning. Like best, best develops. Your best, your best performance is something that you got to develop. And if there's all this anxiety around, uh, oh, uh, you know, being consistent and blah 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 and doing my best, like no one's ever going to perform, be able to perform their best if their standards are set really high. Like I've got to complete this, this uh, homework and this test and this exam to the best of my ability in one hour. It doesn't work that way. You're, you're not going to be able to do your best performance, you know, when, when you've got such a high anticipation and expectations. You know, um, 
you know, I want to be like uh, the, the best YouTuber, blah, 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 and I'm going to record this video and it's going to be so uh, detailed and, and on point. Like, for someone who doesn't ever record videos or, or um, you know, like, yeah, that's going to be pretty hard. <laughs> good luck even like, you know, good luck, good luck, good luck being consistent with that attitude. You know, um, it's really crazy when you think about it because, you know, staying consistent and developing greatness is actually really easy. But the problem is that people, they have a bunch of unrealistic beliefs on how to actually develop these things that it doesn't ever get taken care of. Uh, one thing I've definitely noticed is uh, if you, if you, so the more, the more that you do something, the more frequently you're going to do it. Like... If I start to go to jujitsu practice just like every single day, but I, even if I'm not feeling like it, but I don't really care if I like learn the technique so well or not, like it's important to retain information for sure, but uh, I'll learn just a tiny bit, like just a little, I'll get a little bit better even on my worst days compared to not ever going at all. Um, and so, you know, recording a video every single day, uh, it gets easier. And if I don't stay consistent with my videos, then I'll just naturally lose the consistency for my videos over time. I'll just naturally not want to, you know, not record videos. Uh, consistency builds consistency. Um, and so the other thing is you can make these things easy for you by um, taking whatever, you know, skill it is that you want to develop and putting it right in front of you. So for example, if you want to record a video every morning, uh, set up a process that allows it to be easy. So for example, um, I have multiple goals. Like I want to get some sunlight. I want to get my body moving so I can wake up a little bit. And I want to record videos. So in the morning, a good ritual I have is as soon as I wake up every morning at 8 a.m., you know, I, I'll usually walk. I'll drink some coffee while I'm walking and I'll have my cell phone with me. And so while I'm walking with my cell phone, drinking coffee, my mind starts to get stimulated. And since my cell phone's already there, uh, it's very easy for me to record a video. But if on the other hand, I have this expectation that I'm just gonna sit at my computer and I have to have it look professional and I, ha and I have all these like stipulations around recording my videos, it's a lot harder to get started. So like if there's a book you wanna read um, that you really wanna learn about, the best thing you can do is keep that book by your bedside every single day so that you're more encouraged to read read that book um, before you go to bed you just read a chapter get it done you know and if you're if your standards are set low like oh, i just want to read you know three pages you know reading a little bit before you go to bed it's so much easier for you to actually get motivated motivation has a lot to do with how easy you make things if 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 you say I'm just going to read three pages a day and I'm good. Well, then it's easier to stay consistent. Three pages, 10 days equals 30 pages, you know, compared to like, you know, if you force yourself to read 30 pages at a time, like that's overwhelming for most people. And I think the quality will be better. Uh, the quality of focus reading three pages a day is going to be better than reading 30 pages at a time. You're more likely to retain three pages of information a day compared to 30 a day. Okay. So, you know, it's a paradox here. Um, but if I, if, uh, so if you make it easier for yourself, like eating healthy, let's put it that, well, actually, yeah, so, you know, I don't really believe vegetables are a health food, and that's, like, real controversial, but if you do think vegetables are a health food, and that's your goal is to eat healthier, putting those vegetables, like, on the table or in, in the front of your refrigerator it's a lot easier to go and reach for those vegetables. Um, you know, compared to like, you know how a lot of people, they put all their fruits and vegetables in a little cupboard, a little cabinet down in the vegetable box, which is like a little drawer that you open and close at the bottom of your refrigerator. No one will remember that. That's an easy way to make all the food in that little drawer rot, right? So put your vegetables up front in front of you at a place that you frequently visit every single day. Put your book that you want to read in a place where you're most likely to read it every single day, where you can just pick it up and, you know, read three pages a day. Um, I know some people who they have like a, a weight set in their living room and, 
you know, every single day when they wake up, they go from their bedroom to the kitchen, they pass by their weight set. And so if you pass by your weight set like 20 times every single day, um, reminding yourself to just pick up the dumbbells and do a couple squats with it or a couple uh, overhead press or something, you're more likely to stick with that than if you have like a home gym that's isolated part of the house. So if you put some workout equipment right there and you have the intention to just do three exercises every time you pass by, imagine this, you pass by your dumbbells 20 times a day and you have a goal of just doing three, three dumbbell squats or something every single day or, or three dumbbell squats every time you pass by it and you pass by that 10 times a day and you, your goal is to do three three times every time you pass by. That's 30, 30 reps of, body, of dumbbell squats that you can do every day if you just set the standards low and you make it easy for yourself. Combine that with like the, uh, the whole goal to like do this entire like crazy high intensity interval workout for like an hour a day. Like you're much more unlikely to actually go through with that. So, um, you know, motivation has a lot to do with just making things easier for yourself, setting the standards low, but aiming to be consistent. So, um, so another really awesome way you can look at this is the anti-motivation side, okay? So things that, like bad habits you wanna let go of, okay? You could do the exact opposite for that. So, Let's say that, uh, you know, your goal is to remove like, you know, hyper arousing content, you know, like the hub. We all know what I'm talking about here um, or social media and stuff like that. Like, how can we how can we remove those bad habits? How can we remove those bad habits from our life? Well, um, simply making it harder for yourself to access these things. So for one. Uh, what I did actually for my longest successful streak with this is I actually used to turn my cell phone off completely. And at the time I had a work situation where I didn't really need to return phone calls or anything. And so for days on end, sometimes for an entire week, I had my cell phone turned completely off. Um, <laughs> and so if my cell phone's turned off and I used to just like place it as far away from me as possible, uh, when I went to the store, I'd leave it in the car, you know, Sometimes I would go and drive without it entirely. You know, that makes it really hard for me to browse social media. That makes it really hard for me to browse the hub. Um, and it makes it really easy for me to, uh, you know, prevent relapse. So if you take whatever negative habit it is that you want to stop and you remove that from your environment on a regular basis, you're unlikely to engage in that habit. Now, of course, it doesn't make things impossible, obviously. For example, someone who's addicted to alcohol and they just don't, you know, buy any alcohol in their house. Well, if they're out and about at the convenience store buying gas, it could be very easy just to pick up a 40 ounce or something. But the goal is to make it as hard as possible so that you're less likely to do it. Um, and so, you know, you can, you can do that with pretty much everything. And if you combine that with um, consistency uh, then you're really, really likely to be successful. So another thing you can do to be more consistent with your goals or to be more consistent with removing negative habits is you do something that they talk about uh, where basically you have like a, um, you have a calendar, right? Um, and so you have a calendar, you put up the calendar, like one of the old school calendars with the boxes up on your wall. You should have a calendar for every main habit that you want to achieve. And for every single day that you stay consistent with your habit, you mark an X, okay, for every single day. And the thing is, what this does is it actually gives you short-term gratification for the long-term uh, reward. Because most of these good habits, they don't show up uh, immediately. Um, but when you mark off an X every single day that you stay consistent, then that's that short-term gratification that helps you stay consistent and also programs your mind to realize that, you know, one X every single day equals 365 X's at the end of the year. So, um, seeing those X's on your calendar for every day you stay consistent uh, stack up over time 
makes you feel more successful, more motivated. It makes you feel like you're actually getting somewhere and it makes you realize how, uh, you know, how, how capable you really are of achieving goals. So uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, lots of amazing tips for staying consistent and getting things done. Um, and I think another thing is recognizing when you're trying to justify, when you're trying to talk yourself out of something, like, oh no, uh, I, I'm too tired today to go to the gym, or I don't have enough time, or, or um, you know, people just don't care about my content on YouTube, so why do I even make it? Like, eventually, eventually people are going to care. Eventually you're going to get subscribers, but you're never going to get subscribers if you don't start posting. You're never going to get rid of that fatigue if you don't get your body to adapt to that stress in the first place. Getting in shape uh, provides more energy. Um, you're never really going to get anywhere with any of your goals if you don't stay consistent. So, uh, leave your question comments down below. Hope that's helped. This is my first video on my Galaxy A51 phone or whatever. Talk to you all next time.